I think. Yesterday problem was that I didn't configure the test ng from the um, Eclipse Marketplace. That's why it was not configuring the Maven project for me. So now in today's session or oh, in last day, what we cover is that uh, we just go through that click on sign in button. We access that. Let's run the test case again and let's see. The test case started. We have just seen that, okay, many times it happens that let's close this. Let's uh, run it from here. Yeah, now it's good. Okay, what kind of account is opened as of now? Spend less. We have seen just that we just click on sign in button. But in today's session, what we will cover after the sign in, what do we have to do? We have one another page. Let's click on Amazon e commerce. Click on this. Whenever I hover on the sign in menu and I clicked on this, you can see that here I navigated to one another page. This page must be also tested and checked. And how we can test and check this page? Uh, that we must write something in here and we have to click on the sign in button. Whenever we see this message, that's all. This will be our target. So how can we do this? Um, we have just clicked on the sign in page. You see that with the help of our Eclipse test script, we, we are successfully clicked on this page. Now the next job is, yeah. The recording is on uh, progress. Now the next job is to do what <clears throat> is that let's quote for other page also. Now, even now it is opening a new page for us. Whenever it's opening a new page for us, what we have to do is that we have to create a new page in amazon.com.amazon.pages with the name of new sign in. We'll create a class. I will name it as a sign in. Click on finish. And that's all. Now in this page, what you have to do? Let's go there. Let's hover on top of this. Let's click on sign in. Um, let's inspect it. The box. And whenever we inspect the box, let's copy the ID of the box because ID has the attribute of the uh, uh, ID. So we will copy this so that with the help of this, we can access its location. Now in here, how we can declare a, a locator with the help of at the rate sign, find, buy, open the bracket, ID is equal to, now paste everything, whatever you have copied, press enter, now make it private, web element. And after that, name it as a variable. So I will name it as a sign and variable. And that's all. Let's import some important uh, libraries. Okay, why it's not importing? Let's wait a moment. Yeah, now it's importing. Let's import at the rate find locator as well. That's all. Now we need what? Another step is that we need for a constructor. What is the constructor? A constructor we will declare like this. Public, put sign in. Now in here, what you have to do is that web driver, driver now import. Web driver. Now in here, page factory. Page factory. Dot. Init. 
elements a semicolon down here driver comma this let's import the page factory okay uh, i guess we have some spelling mistake let's see what is the spelling mistake is that we didn't declare the page factory correctly i guess okay p a g e f a okay it's not f o it's f a now let's over on the, now it's giving us the import package in each element till this point we are good now what we have to do is that we need to jump back and uh, after that we have to declare a function method public void now this method must be like this what we have to type on top of the method is that we need to pass on the object like what we have to say we must say that it's a sign in menu and we have Pass the filling into the box. Filling into box. This will be my function name. That's all. Now in here, just copy the variable name. Sign in dot. Now you're sending something. You're passing something. For passing something, we have used sent keys. Now in here, in send keys, just inside the function signature of the function, you declare string and now give a variable name email and now copy this email name and paste it in here. This will be the signature of our function. Till this point, everyone is confirmed. Now come back to your Amazon test script in your main logic page. Now in here, what you have to do is that uh, even it's not configured with the landing page also. Okay, Amazon script. Yeah, it's configured here. Now, what we have to do is that now we will call the this class. Control, copy this, paste this, now create sign, uh, let's say sign, I will name it sign equal to new, paste the class name, enter, and hover on top of this and try to import it. The error will gone. Now in here you need to password, you need to pass the driver also. That's this will resolve our issue. Now, the, with the help of object which you have created, just try to access that. Put dot. It will directly show the method user defined method which you have created. Click on that. Enter it, and now you have to pass the email from here. Like suppose sdfg at the rate gmail dot com. I will enter like this. Let's run the code and see whether it's working or not. I will click on run. For security purpose, let's click on run again. Why it's redirecting me to some other page? Did I log in? Okay, let's close this. Let's take teacher for com. Uh, yeah, teacher for com. Please, please go to the sign in page. Yeah, I will get let me on the eclipse. Yeah, let's copy, let me copy this. Let me paste it. Yeah, I will get different things. Okay, online number 11 or number 20 is this sync in or sign in 
it is sign in you can see that it's a small sign in it's a variable it is, uh, i know but the spell is s i g n it's I okay think. it's okay it doesn't work with the okay. spelling just whatever you declared that's okay. okay why i did this because i don't want it it will be same like the class name that's why oh okay okay i, I thought that that's the issue no 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 that's not an issue okay now let's, uh, because most of the time Amazon will stop us for testing because they think that uh, there might be some DDoS attack on servers of Amazon or something else. So that's why for security reason, they stopped us. Okay, now let's do one thing. We have copy everything. Now let's give a fresh run. Yeah, now it's coming. Click on sign in and you can see that they entered whatever we have given sdfg at the rate gmail.com. We have successfully entered our data. Now the next part is that we have to click on this continue button. Well, for clicking on this continue button, what we have to do is that and right click inspect the button. Once you inspect the buttons, so let me bring it down. I'll activate the hoverization. I'll click on continue. You can see that directly the attribute of continue has the ID of continue. I'll double click on ID. I will copy that and I will come back to my Eclipse. Now, as, as of now, you, you see that it is already in sign in page. We don't need to create an extra page because the button is on the same spot. The button is on the same sign in page. Let me go to sign in page. The button is on the same spot. You can see that we didn't even change the location of the page. So for that, we don't need to create an extra page. For that, just in sign in page class, which you have created, go and declare the locator there. Find by ID is equal to Paste it, continue. Now make it private. Wave element. Now click on BTN. Click on button. Now for that, we need to create one another extra method. Public void clicking on BTN. That's all. Now just copy the variable name, paste it here, dot click. Because the method is dot click. Now what you have to do, save this file, copy the method name, click on, on button, go to your Amazon script. And then here you have already declared uh, object of the sign in class with the name of sign s i g n sign dot you can see that here you will find the method which you have declared okay clicking on button it's in first option this i did this let's save this and let's run it let's run the code and let's wait a moment over on top of that, click on sign in, fill some information, it's, and it is clicked on the log continue button. You can see that SDFJ is linked with some personal account in Amazon. That's why I didn't bring the what? The real, the error message. So I will do what? I will change the value because I don't want a real account. So I will type a random text like this so i'll save this and i will run the code again now let's wait a moment over on sign in click on that yeah you can see that now we have just click on the continue button and we get the error message that was our target that we accomplished hope you guys understand this now, the next part, the last part, which is remaining for us is that 
we don't want to manually close the browsers each and every time. For that, what we have to do is that we need to just we need to just write down in here uh, what we have to write in here we have to write driver dot close that's all whenever you run the test case let's run it and automatically after the completion of the task they will close the browser manually okay they click yeah it's closed you can see that on the right hand side if i expand it my test case is passed with the green button if i expand the console you can see that default test run one failure is zero skip zero passes one failure is zero my test case is passed without any error so what we have learned uh rest was uh, already you have typed just go to your files and you can do one this section was new uh, today new section you just you have to put this much of information and you have to do what save this i will try i will do one thing that i will split the screen for you guys let's me minimize this i will split the screen just you need to do what your task is just you have to create one new class inside what inside this page inside com.amazon.pages just create a new class sign in dot java that's all and you have to type first you have to type this page code this page all of the page and rest you code the amazon script page that's all and the new section which we have added is today section go ahead and type the code i will give you five minutes for that after five minutes what we will do we will continue and we will see the next trick that what is the next trick Okay, now guys, I will show you one trick, one simple and short trick. So that's very helpful and vital trick. So you guys see that each and every time we are just duplicating this section of the code, like web driver at before test and at after test. This section of the code is duplicated. Even if we write some other test cases as well, it will uh, it's also it's used like a duplication. So for that, we will use one another trick. Let me create it in com.amazon so that whenever you, when you create a thousands of test script inside our com.amazon.test script, it will definitely, you can utilize one of them. Let's make a new class in com.amazon.test script class. I will name it as a, um, base uh, start app click on finish now go to your amazon and copy select from web driver select from web driver and tell this body and cut it from here and paste it sorry Wait a second, why it's not working. Now try to paste it where? Try to paste it in ba inside the base test class. Paste it here and go back to your Amazon test script and cut after the test. Cut this portion also and come here and paste it here. Save this base test file, base startup. Now go to your Amazon script. You can see that here it's only remaining with the at the rate test annotation. How can we resolve that issue? Now for you making utilization, just use the inheritance concept. Extend what? Base start 
what app that's all you can see that whenever we add that that portion why this portion is coming let me stop and share my screen again Now you can see that with the help of extending, with the help of inheritance, we just utilize one, we optimize our code. Now each and every time, if I create a new test script files, so I will not recreate this at the rate test and at, at the rate after test, I will not create. I create just one file and I will make utilize of this file. That's all. So with this, I optimized my code. Now if I run the code, you can see, just see, I'll run the code, click OK. See, everything is working normally and fine. It will work, hello sign in, clicked. It will enter data, click on continue and it will close. And you see, even I don't have any logic of at before test and at after test. I run it again. So just close it, I just close it. Now, this is the power of inheritance that we make a utilize. This was a new technique that we have to keep in mind. So I will divide this session. Okay, so let's let me close this. Let's open this. Yeah, divide it in this way. Let me close this portion. Let me minimize this portion. So now go ahead create a new file inside this portion of the code you have already written. So you don't need just create a new file and do what? Create a new file in com.amazon.testscript and do the same way which I did. Just cut everything in copy and base, uh, base start app. And after that, just extend the class. Now this will, this is called optimization, code optimization. You proper you place properly everything in their place. Guys, you understand this trick? That's why we are using this trick. Is it also something, uh, teacher Furkan, that in the real life, when we get assigned to work on some portion of the codings, you just like copy and paste it. You don't have to write all of them to inherit. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. Because as much as you write down optimized code, that much your task and your work will be easy. Now, if I create a thousands of a script files in here, so I don't need to write every each and every time this portion of the code. I will just extend it as class. That's all. I make you, you reusability of the code. That's all. I will pass one project right in here in the class for you guys. You guys have to do it is that first of all, first of all, go open the Chrome, this Amazon web page and do what? Once you open Amazon web page, hover on this customer service. Once you click on this customer service, it will open a lot of box. Let's check with the others today's deal. Do we have anything? Yes, if I hover, no, we don't have. Let me do it. Wait a second. Sell. No, no, no. We don't need sell. Okay. Let's search for mobile. Okay. Now, why it's not coming for mobile? Um, 
result scans. So I click on top of this. Now click on buy now. And that's all. You guys have to do what is you have to practice it by yourself. How you will practice it? Let's do this. Let me tell you. First of all, whenever you come to the landing page of Amazon, you have to build it from the scratch, guys. Click on the search box and find the try to write down Apple phone. Once you write down the Apple phone, try to click on the search button. Once you have clicked on the search button, select the first card, first link which is coming. So click on this portion. It will navigate you to the new page. Once it click navigate you to the new page, here is that we have two button, add to card, buy now. Now click on buy now button. Once you click on buy now button, it will redirect you to which page? It will redirect you to sign in page. This will be your mini project and this will be your small assessment in the class that if you able to do this, you can do the complex projects of the Maven. So this is a new thing. So go ahead and try it from your side. If you stuck somewhere, so I'm gonna help you. Tomorrow, definitely I will show you the new tricks of Maven. And uh, alongside with that, we will practice with uh, some other topics like um, I will decide that whether we will go with the um, Git or GitHub or whether we start with the Cucumber, BDD Cucumber. So we will practice this, we will decide on top of this. So as of now, the assignment is that you just, whenever you open the landing page, just click on search button and try to type something. Once you type something, click on search, first card click, and after that click on buy now, and that's all. This will be your task. Hope you guys understand it. Now, do we have- The homework for tomorrow, sir? Yeah, the homework is, you have just, I will give you one or two days for this. Just try to fix it. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, I will ask someone randomly in the class. Okay. You just, you have one day for that. One or it might be one and a half day. Okay, I'll pause the recording. Thank you so much for joining. If you don't have any question, we will stop our session right in here.